So I'm seeing the star just now right in front of the jet. Come on, can make a wish? Not yet, I think I'm one. Air refueling is a very crucial mission for the Air Force. I think it what separates us from some of the other Air Forces of the world. This is the ultimate force multiplier. It is what provides the U.S. Air Force with the ability to truly be a global force. This is the boom. Part of a complex fuel system comprised of more than 60 valves and pumps on board a KC-135, the boom is capable of transferring more fuel in eight minutes than your average neighborhood gas station can pump in 24 hours. Aerial refueling is what enables American aircraft to go anywhere, anytime. So imagine that you are, like I said, you're a boom operator and you're uh, you know, looking out this window and you see a receiver come up and he's anywhere from 30 feet to 40 feet away from you. And uh, that's, that's really close uh, if you think about it because uh, two aircraft close together is inherently dangerous. So when we go back to do air refueling, we, uh, we, lay, we lay on our stomachs uh, what's called the boom pod. And uh, your first time, it's a little, it's a little tight because you know you don't have much room to move around. But honestly, it's uh, it's pretty comfortable. You know, lay out there and you get a world class view of the world and of uh, multi million dollar aircraft. So I I enjoy it. It's an awesome view. So nine and nine, the, we play a big role here in the Pacific AOR because uh, we are the only active duty tanker squadron uh, in the entire Air Force that represents uh, Pacific. Our uh, squadron motto is uh, always there and never here because uh, we are always, always out there doing the mission. And, uh, we're never here, you know, so it's always great to be on the road. So being a boom operator, it's a really small career field. I think there's less than uh, maybe a thousand active duty booms. But uh, in order to be a boom operator, you can't be colorblind. You gotta have good depth perception and uh, you know, pass your uh, flight physical as well. So. Uh, that's basically it, and then once you get into training, pass all your flight training uh, requirements, uh, you'll be good to go off to uh, flight suit, so it's not bad. It's inherently very dangerous, but it's also very rewarding to see something that close and uh, you know support a key mission that we do out here every day. KC-135 is the primary uh, air refueling aircraft for the United States Air Force. The National Guard houses about 48% of that capability. The mission uh, is basically to be on time, on station, to meet your refueler so that he can go on and, and meet his mission. The rendezvous is, is the most critical part of the air refueling from a pilot standpoint because we have to meet another aircraft in space someplace around the world. Our mission is to get that aircraft on station at the right time so then the boom operator can go back and complete his air refueling. Boom operator is an enlisted air crew person that actually uh, controls the boom. Uh, what we do is we transfer the fuel from our aircraft to the receiver aircraft. The boom is the apparatus at the end of the fuselage of the 135. It's basically a long nozzle. Um, it's got uh, some rotator flight controls on it. We use it to position the nozzle into the receiver's aircraft's receptacle. What we actually do is uh, the boom operator will fly the boom into position as he's communicating with the receiver aircraft. And once we have them in uh, perfect position, we can extend the boom and insert the, um, the boom into the uh, receiver's receptacle. Once that contact is made, we can transfer the fuel from our aircraft into theirs. The KC-135 Stratotanker can carry up to 200,000 pounds of jet fuel and can offload it to a receiving aircraft at more than 5,800 pounds per minute. During the refueling operation, the two aircraft share a 30 to 50 foot connection via the extended boom while traveling at speeds of up to 580 miles per hour. With the fighters, it's typically between about 12 and 18,000 pounds of fuel. They're in and off your fuel tank in, in about five, 10 minutes, pretty quick. Uh, the C-17, when we were flying uh, into the uh, theater over in Iraq and Afghanistan, they would be on our boom for about 40 to 45 minutes. And that's flying along with all the pumps going, you know, offloading everything you can. He's actually one of the most dangerous aircrafts to be in close proximity with. He's really big compared to us. 
and he gets a lot of air moving around and it can be very dangerous if it's not done very slow and precise. A lot of things are going on. There's a lot of radio traffic in your headset. The atmospheric conditions are causing the two airplanes to bounce and you know move and yaw and the boom has to be able to anticipate all of those actions and be able to concentrate and focus solely on that receptacle uh, until he gets uh, you know a complete contact and connection with the receiver aircraft. It's the best job I've ever had. All I've ever really wanted to do in my life was fly. I fly in the civilian role as a pilot, so anytime I can be in the air, that's where I want to be. I love watching new guys when it clicks and they see it's not a hard job by any means, but there's a ton of responsibility. The ops tempo, it's pretty demanding right now. I pretty much just plan and my family plans on me doing a desert deployment about every year, every year and a half really anymore. But then you throw in Guam, you throw in exercises, the Czech Republic got a couple of alert lines. It's, it's just nonstop. It's a high ops tempo, but if you enjoy doing it. That's, that's the fun part of the job. It's getting in the airplane with two of your friends and doing it. You don't get cut a lot of slack in this building. There's a reason for it because you, you can't when we're in the airplane, just the three of us. Gotta be on your A game. And the, the guys that make it are the guys that can adapt and roll with the punches and learn from their mistakes or learn from being told what their mistakes are and, and move on and become better. And that's, that's what it really takes to be successful in this job. The Michigan Air National Guard's 127th Wing flies and maintains eight KC-135s, providing the capability of strategic global reach. These pilots, boomers, maintainers, and support personnel all serve their state and nation by ensuring the boom is where it needs to be when it needs to be there. Whether it's fighters, strategic airlift aircraft, or bombers, we need to be there to give them the gas so that they can go do their mission. You're not gonna win an uh, air combat war without tankers. It's just paramount to winning that conflict, so nobody's gonna do it without tanker gas. How do you feel about this being your final pleasure? It's a bit sad. That's not my final flight, just my final flight in this uh, beautiful jet. Pretty soon I'm gonna be in that beautiful jet. Yeah, good boys. Uh, you got a good display? And he's over to the right.